Good afternoon, and thank you for being here today for the State of the City, sponsored and hosted by the South San Francisco Chamber of Commerce. And Maria, thank you once, thank you once again. So it's an honor for me to stand in front of you in reflection, celebration, and with vision, a vision developed and shared by my colleagues on the City Council, Vice Mayor Mark Gariego, Council Members Pradeep Gupta, Carol Matsumoto, and Liza Normandy. I am truly honored to serve with such a wonderful group of public servants who are all focused on improving South San Francisco and the lives of our residents and merchants. And in addition, I just want to say that this city and you are all fortunate to have these folks, your council members, represent you on boards and commissions at the state, county, regional, and local levels. They're doing one heck of a good job, and thank you. Thank you for serving. Today it's about remembering the past while preparing for the future. It's about honoring the space between what was and what will be. Exactly 100 years ago, the Panama Pacific Exposition opened in San Francisco, a magnificent world's fair celebrating San Francisco's recovery from the 1906 earthquake, which destroyed much of the region. 100 years later, we too celebrate our own recovery, ours from the recent recession which crippled the economy. I can confidently say the economy in South San Francisco is strong and secure. Once again, the people of South San Francisco have proven that ours is a resilient city, a city of initiative, a city of innovation, a city of spirited resourcefulness and grand vision. 100 years ago, South San Francisco was the celebrated home of a growing steel industry, which built a great nation, won two wars, and created the cables supporting the famously beautiful Golden Gate Bridge. 100 years ago, steel industrial giants started in South San Francisco, and they embodied the cutting edge, innovative technology of their day. Our predecessors' dreams became realities through critical thought, great risk, sweat, and determination. Today, our creativity and innovation is as strong as ever. While the industry is different, the engine that has driven this city's success for over 100 years has not changed. Our entrepreneurship, risk-taking, and industrious spirit set us apart from the, uh, many other neighboring communities. Make no mistake and hear me clearly. South San Francisco proudly remains the industrial city. We, like our predecessors, challenge the status quo and are able to build something meaningful. The people of South San Francisco stand proudly on the shoulders of the industrial giants of our past while lifting the next generation up, allowing us in this new, much stronger economy to reach even greater heights we honor the past while building for the future. Our new economy is anchored by a thriving biotech community, which continues to grow. Today, South San Francisco is home to the largest biotech cluster in the world, with over 150 biotech companies and 11 million square feet of biotech space. We have the nation's premier life sciences workforce drawing from nearby UCSF, Stanford, and other world-class academic institutions. And yes, Carol, that includes UC Berkeley. <laughs> Carol's a grad. What's even more exciting is we have another 5 million square feet of new R&D space approved, much of it already under construction. Take Genentech, for example. Genentech just cut the ribbon on a new seven-story R&D building and now plans to construct a new four-story employee center on the upper campus, which will include a gym, a cafeteria, a career center, and a medical clinic. In South San Francisco, Genentech employs over 11